So with PMDD, women will experience this for a much longer period of time. So PMS is typically like three to five days before your period. With PMDD, it seems the moment you pass ovulation, you enter into this heightened state of emotions and physical symptoms. So it's not just an emotional state, although emotions can be so extreme that there's suicidal ideation, there is wow. significant clinical depression going on, and it's only happening half of the month. Once you get your period, things go away. And a lot of people, you know, they recognize breast tenderness, uh, achy joints, not feeling well overall. Some women with PMDD will report things that feel like the period flu, which is something that you don't have to have PMDD to have. However, it points strongly to histamine and prostaglandin issues going on. So with PMDD, to get this diagnosis, these symptoms have to be present most of the year, and you have to have a combination of emotional and physical symptoms going on. Now to your question of like who pre primarily gets this. That has been something that the research has tried to figure out for a long time. And it was actually through surveying autistic women and women with ADHD that we found that the majority of women that have like, you know, autism in these surveys are reporting PMDD. So we see over 90% correlation of being autistic and having PMDD. And when it comes to ADHD, roughly half of the women with ADHD reported experiencing PMDD.